uh, may be over. So there's a lot at stake here. Not only prize money, of course, both fighters are making it about $200,000 each, and it's a huge payday for a local fight. But the bottom line is you want to continue on this pace, you want to build, and you want to build towards a world championship. Yes, this is it. Stefan Wallet is one step away from the world championship. Dave Hilton's in the world ratings this time, which was different than the last fight. So, I mean, both these guys are going for broke. This is going to be one explosive contest. In the welterweight division, dans le coin bleu, in the blue corner, Portant la culotte noire et rouge et pesant 149 livres, wearing the black and red trunks, weighing 149 pounds, une fiche de 6 victoires, 6 défaites et 1 nul, a record of 6 wins, 6 losses and 1 draw, 3 wins by knockouts, the Kyleen Texas, Matthias Bedburdick, Bedburdick. Dans le coin rouge, in the red corner, portant la culotte jaune et noire, wearing the yellow and black trunks, à 151 livres, at 151 pounds, avec une fiche de 10 victoires, 7 knockouts, aucune défaite, aucun match nul, 10 wins, 7 knockouts, no losses, no draws, de Montréal, Québec, Hercule, Kivelos! Kivelos! His trademark left hook, which he programs to land just north of the waistline parallel, often serves to paralyze his prey with a single blow. The personable young athlete's popularity grows with each performance, the last of which was in this city recently when he blitzed his opponent into a pile of rubble. We're talking about Rich Stockton. It was a second round TKO, and we're talking specifically about Hercules Cavellos, who will have Russ Amber in his corner. Terrific young prospect. He's the guy at the hope of the well away division in Canada. He's fighting a kid who describes himself as an outstanding boxer, Matthias Bebdorek from uh, Texas. His idol is Salvador Sanchez, the late featherweight champ. And he promises to give him an interesting time this evening. Indeed, it will be an interesting evening here at the Molson Center and one of quite a few fights here on Viewer's Choice. We don't know the grand total of fights that we will be presenting. It all depends how long some of these fights go. And this one is underway between Hercules Cavellos and Matias Bedberbe. Cavellos in the solid black trunks, but Burdick in the black trunks with red trim. Cavellos moves in using the jab effectively here early, keeping away his opponent about Cavellos is watch and at one point he'll explode with either the right or left hand. Eric is a disarming kind of a fighter. He's tall, thin, good looking. You wouldn't think he has power, but he's he's got that in uh, in spades here. And he can let it go at any time. He also has a whole lot of determination which we've seen in the past. Yeah. Great charisma. He's going to be a good star here. Into minute number two of this opening round here at the Molson Center. Matt Burdick covering up. And Cavellos using the gloves to the body, but this fight has still not opened up, and we don't expect it to open up at least until round two. This is one of those rounds where both fighters are just using it to figure out the opponent. Well, you know, Bet Burdick is a southpaw, and that can give a guy trouble. It's throwing punches at a different angle. So I think it's going to take a little bit longer of a hurt to figure him out than it usually does in the first 30 seconds of one minute of the fight. But he's starting to be a bit more aggressive now. Of the six wins by Bet Burdick, three have been by knockout. So he does have some power here, and Cavallos is wise to 
just hang out for a while and try to figure out his opponent. Trying to sneak a right hand there in between the gloves and good defensive job by Bet Burdick. I saw Bet Burdick try to look up at a the clock there to see how much time is left in this round and sort of sneaking away. It's a real feel him out first round. Throughout the evening, we will hear from our ringside judge, Guy Jutra, who is with our Charles Andre Marchand. Under 30 seconds to go in round number one, and it opens up thanks to Hercules Cavellos, who landed a combination there to the body. He's, he's a bit cautious this round, but I think you'll see him open up the next one. I think he sees what he's got in front of him. Not much of a risk, and I think he should really start to explode in round two. Trying to adjust to that southpaw style, that burden. Cavellos moves in, and round number one into the books. <laughs> Russ Amber in the corner seems familiar to you. By no stretch of the imagination is that untrue. He is the trainer of Otis Grant. There's Bob know. Miller. Bob Miller, one of the finest cut men in the business. Oh, absolutely, and those guys are uh, worth their weight in gold. And Matthias Bedberg is uh, assisted by Mike Delware. Tonight's gala brought to you by Le Casino de Montréal. Some of the finer moments of round number one, and there's Cavellos working the body and using some combinations. Yeah, beautiful left hook there. That's where he was target punch. Uh, and as I say, I think this round he'll start to open up. I think he's going to try to go for the knockout. Round number two is underway. Cavellos and Bet Burdick. Uh, in the middle of the ring right now, but verdict a little more aggressive here in the early moments, 20 seconds into round number two. You know, when you come in and face a big crowd like this with an undefeated fighter, that can be intimidating. You know? So we sort of got to get the cobwebs out of his head, Bet verdict before he can get into his fight as well. Cavellos is a perfect 10 and 0 with seven knockouts, but Burdick is six, six and one with three knockouts. Cavallo tries for a looping left hand, which really didn't hit the mark. No, I really think he's got to throw a little bit of caution to the wind now, uh, Hercules, because uh, he's got to look to impress a l large crowd like this and start to unload like he just did. That's right. That may have been the best head combination we've seen from Hercules in this fight. There's a good left jab, and now Hercules does open up and connects in between the gloves. Again, once he figures out that southpaw style, I think he can really start to unload. I must say Russ Amber is probably, arguably, one of the more patient trainers in boxing. Not one to believe to go out there and really open it up early, and I think in this case it's a wise decision. Well, Dean, I think some people say that word patience is a euphemism for cautious. That's right. <laughs> uh, he doesn't like to take too many chances. And you shouldn't with a terrific young prospect like this. But uh, it's a good learning experience to fight a southpaw. Now you can see Hurt is just landing at will. Cabellos is getting his work in. That's what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Which is very good. Throwing some punches here, trying to find the opening in between the gloves, landing some body shots, hoping that those gloves will come down at one point, and then landing upstairs. Remember, Bet Burdick has only been stopped once in 13 fights, so he's not an easy guy to knock out, quite obviously. This is a eight rounder. Apparently successful tonight. They'll try to move him into a Canadian Wellaway title fight June 29th. Oh, a good Little right hand by Cavellos. And his opponent is down. I don't think he's getting up. You know, I think that's it. Matthias Ben Verdick is that's not it. getting up, and it's over. A perfect 11-0 for Hercules Cavellos. Of those 11 wins, eight by knockout. And I'm surprised that Ben Burdick went down so easily. You know, it just seems to me he, uh, I don't want to say he quit, but uh, 
he may have seen he didn't have much fight in him and uh, took the easy way out. Don, it appeared to me the first good shot that hit him, he went down. Let's yeah. take a look here. There it is. Good yeah. uppercut, though. Mm -hmm. Missed with that overhand left, and there he is. Doesn't seem. Oh, oh. right on the button, though. Yep. Talking about patience. Patience sometimes pays off. Absolutely. No, they know they've got uh, a good future star here. And now I think he's ready to move up into 10 round fights. He's graduated tonight. Last time out, as we mentioned, Hercules Cavellos ended the fight in round number two a TKO. This will be a knockout. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, it was a decision win over Rodney Tatum, a six rounder. Now we're talking about. November 27th, the undercard, of course, uh, the Hilton Millette fight. I just think they're looking to get a little bit more work in there for Herc, you know, uh, a little experience. But again, now he should start to move up into a better class of fighters. As for Matthias Bedberdick, he has now lost three of his last four fights mm -hmm. and squeezed in a knockout in between on April 30th as he knocked out Damian Turner of the Louisiana in round number three. Winner by knockout at 232 second round, Hector Kivelos. Available are Charles Andre Marshall will catch up with Hercules Cavellos and we will go to Hercules and Charles when they are ready. Still to come tonight, Eric Luca and Laverne Clark. Go to Charles Andre. Right. So far, yeah, it's going very good. I'm really happy with my performance. Uh, I came ready. I was inactive for uh, three and a half months because there was cancellations and stuff, and I came ready for this one, and uh, I did my job again. Your opponent was never in this fight. You actually were in control from start to finish, a very quick finish. Uh, yeah, I was, actually. That was our game plan. Our game plan was to set off right away. Usually, we take it a little slower in the first round. This time, I came out to mean business and to show everybody that I'm here to do my job, and I'm, doing, I'm here for business, and I'll always be here for business. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you very much. Alors voilà, Hercules Kevlas qui est très heureux. Il dit euh, j'ai été en contrôle depuis le départ. Il dit, généralement, il dit je commence mes combats peut-être un peu plus lentement, mais cette fois-ci, je n'ai pas pris de chance. J'ai décidé d'attaquer à fond train en ouverture. Je voulais montrer de quoi j'étais capable. Et il signe une huitième victoire par knockout. Hercules Kevlas, une vedette montante du groupe Interbox. À vous, messieurs. Thank you very much, Charles Andre Marchand, with tonight's winner, Hercules Cavellos, in the second round. He meant business and he showed it in that opening fight when he knocked out his opponent in round number two at 232, Matthias Bed Burdick. And uh, just wondering, what kind of workout do you think this was for Hercules Cavellos? Well, you know, there's a guy that we said he wasn't a winning fight, he was a 50 50 fight, but he hadn't been knocked out, so he did show he has power when he wants to have it. But I really think Hercules Cabells has to move up into a better grade of fighter now. And those preliminary fights gaining him confidence, letting him to know how to fight a southpaw of different styles. He's past that stage. Move up, fight better fighters. In fact, this was his 11th fight, so you passed that magic mark of 10 fights. Right. You don't want to get into it too early, but the, the bottom line is that you do want to fight a tougher opponent than you did tonight because I don't think he learned very much. No, he didn't. And if you look at his career compared to Leonard Dorin, who just won the Continental America's That's title right. last month in a 12-round decision, he's rated number 27 in the world by the WBC. They're very much at the same stage of the career. But Leonard is going to have to fight a world-ranked fighter next time out. And if Hercules wants to improve, he's going to have to step up the opposition. Biggest asset for Hercules Cavellos, just wondering, as, as we saw his fight, we saw him go to the body successfully. We also saw him go upstairs when it counted with the yes. uppercut. What is his, his biggest asset as a fighter? Well, you know, he's got terrific charisma. He's good looking. He's exciting. He's an explosive puncher, as we saw tonight, even though he didn't fight the best opposition. One shot and the fight was over. So, I mean, he's got every potential. Just what he needs to do now is to fight better opposition so we can see how good those skills are. All right, this place is starting to fill up here at the Molson Center. A late arriving crowd, but it's a near sellout. And from our vantage point, ringside, you look up and you see people almost 
everywhere. And uh, it really is a terrific sight to see, see boxing back this way in Montreal. And it goes back to that November 27th night where, of course, uh, we had such a great time calling that fight. And maybe a little later on, we'll see excerpts from, from that fight November 27th. Uh, but Davey Hilton Jr., who I thought was trailing in that fight uh, with 18 seconds to go, yes. knocked out. Uh, certainly Stefan Ouellette and you know what there was a lot of controversy surrounding that fight because the referee stepped in and stopped it I think the referee made the right decision that night. I think so too I think he was dead on his feet now referee doesn't know this 10 seconds 20 seconds 5 seconds less he's there to protect the fighter at all time but boy to lose a number one contender spot on the verge of a world championship it just got to break your heart and sometimes the fighter can't overcome that thing. That's right that's the bottom line when it comes to Stefan Wallet and of course Davey Hilton Jr. That's upcoming a little later on uh, during our broadcast. It's a real grudge match. They've been trading blows in the local media. Uh, do you believe that? Do you believe that when fighters do that sometimes? Uh, they trade blows. It's, it's just hype. Or I, I, get the, I get the feeling that these two guys...